Today we're going to install a new battery on a 2014 Ford Taurus. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is grab your battery, slap it into place. You might want to use both hands. Get all the battery terminals out the way. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is remove these safety little caps that comes with the positive and the negative side. Wow! Alright, once you have them removed, just go ahead and just toss them to the side. I'm just kidding. You want to throw them away in the trash can. Now, the next thing we're going to do is connect our positive terminal. Let's put this down real quick. We're going to connect our positive terminal. Just like so. All right. Now we're going to connect our negative terminal. Just like so. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to spray this down. I don't use this enough. Uh, so I need to start using it on all my videos. This battery terminal protector prevents corrosion. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and spray this on, just like that. I think it might be paint, but it's made for batteries. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put down the battery clamp. Uh, this just is gonna go in on top of this and right in there and right into that one and into that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, it appears that I had this flip that looks like it could only go one way because of these uh, little covers it has. It's in the way. Just flip it, and it is no longer in the way. All right, we're going to grab our 10 millimeter nuts, and we're just going to put them on top of the battery clamp, just like so. All right. All right, sorry about that. I forgot to mention what kind of tool we're using. We're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket. Sorry, doing three projects at once. I'll show you real quick. 2014 Ford Taurus, 2013 Nissan Altima, and over there with the hood open is a 2010 Toyota Corolla. And this is the garbage man making all the damn noise. <laughs> Anyways, so. Sorry, I didn't inform you what size it is. It is a 10 millimeter socket. Now that we have that established, we're gonna go ahead and tie up the negative terminal, tie up the positive terminal, and tie up the battery clamp. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, and we are done. Let's go ahead and just throw a little bit extra layer of protecting on top, and we're done. Thank you for watching. That's how you install a battery on a 2014 Ford Taurus. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.